Hello and welcome to another edition of Stuff You Like with me, Sir Samirsa. Today, Jane Cobb, everybody. There's no place I can be since I found serenity. You can't take the sky from me. So in case you don't know, a brief synopsis of Jane's role on the ship. I was just wondering what his job is. Public relations. Which means that he hits things, shoots things, and blows things up. And he is massively, massively loved. Even though he's a mercenary, and even though... Jane is a girl's name. Jane is a ship's dumb muscle. Or at least the ship's specifically skilled muscle. I've given Jane here the job of finding out. He was not specific as to how. Now you only gotta scare him. Pain is scary. A word on the characters of Firefly generally. All of the male characters of Firefly are men, obviously. But all of them are layered and complex and interesting and there are lots of different ways of being a man on Serenity. There are also lots of different ways of being a woman on Serenity. Even though some of them do involve... Whoring. Well, yeah. But we're talking about Jane. And Jane seems simple. At first glance, he's a manly, manly man. One who's almost a caricature drawn with a thick black marker pen. He's all muscle and sadism and cunning, but not a lot of brains and not much by way of a moral compass either. As with other situations, the key seems to be giving Jane a heavy stick and standing back. But Serenity's not just a ship, it's a state of mind. And so Jane, like everyone else, cannot escape character development. In the pilot, he considers selling out Simon and River for peace of mind and lots of money. Yay, future conflict! In Ariel, he follows through and really does sell out Simon and River and expects to get lots of money and peace of mind, and instead gets... Which is what happens when you call the feds. Jane's little chat with Mal is the first crisis of conscience for Jane in the series. And maybe the beginnings of the desire to be a good man. Or at least to be thought of as a good man. But we'll take what we can get. In Jane's time, after entirely undeserved adulation, he eventually comes clean and has his second crisis of conscience. And that leads to Jane becoming like a more honest man. This is people like me. By the time the movie rolls around, he says, Shepard Book used to tell me, can't do something smart. <sighs> do something right. Jane Cobb, that was almost heroic. Jane is wonderful, and he's so wonderful because of this beautiful character arc, but also because he's funny and crude and a bit dumb, because he loves his mum, because he has a nifty theme song, because he has some really great hats, because he names his guns. Call it Vera. And generally, he's just an amazingly entertaining character to have around. We love you, Jane. See you next week, everybody. Bye. He robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor Stood up to the man and he gave him what for Our love for him now ain't hard to explain The hero of Canton, the man they call